In this video, we're going to look at how you can set up organizational themes in your Power BI tenants. We're going to cover how to start using organizational themes and some practical tips on how you can use this. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's jump in. Themes in Power BI are essentially visual presets that lets you control how your visuals look like when you put them in your reports. If you like your visuals to have rounded corners, for example, instead of customizing it every single time you put it in the report, you can instead use themes to preset this so that your corner roundings are added in by default. This not only saves you time from doing the customization yourself every single time, it also ensures that the customization for rounding is consistent across your other visuals. You can customize themes directly from the Power BI desktop, or you can customize it yourself since the themes are in a JSON format. It just gives you a lot more options on customizing your themes, and I have a video about it if you want to learn more about doing this directly. When you're ready to use your JSON theme, you simply go to the view ribbon up here, browse for themes, and select the theme file that you want to use. After the July update though, you can take this even further by using organizational themes. Organizational themes basically allow you to add your own themes to your tenant, which in turn makes these themes available to everyone in your organization. I've already set one up here in my tenant. So I'm gonna show you from the view ribbon. When you click the drop down here, you can see this grouping organizational themes. And this has my own theme that I uploaded in my tenant, Solutions Abroad theme. So this prevents your developers from needing to have the JSON theme files and importing them into their report. They can just select it like any other themes in this theme gallery. To get started, you need to first be a tenant admin with access to the admin portal from the Power BI service. So here we are in my own tenants and you access the admin portal from the cog icon here settings and then admin portal down here. Then you'll see a new option here, organizational themes, which is currently in preview. You can see the theme that we just saw from the themes gallery here, the solutions abroad theme. And from here you can do things like edit this theme, add the theme or delete themes, and also change certain settings, which we're gonna look at in a second. Already from here, we can already see some interesting information here. Source file, which is basically a column that says where the theme file is coming from. Now at the moment, it can only come from you uploading the theme file directly in this portal. However, having this column here implies that in the future, there might be other ways that you can have a source, a theme source, other than uploading it. So that will be interesting to see in the future. There's also a changed column here, which basically means that we can update the themes here, which is a good thing, especially if you have themes that are constantly evolving, you want to make sure that you kind of manage them in one place and it gets cascaded to other reports that use these themes. So I'm going to elaborate on that later onwards. There's also a theme gallery enabled disabled here. So at the moment we have this enabled, which means that it's available in the theme gallery whenever your users um, work with Power BI in Power BI desktop. However, you can disable this if you want to. And I guess this is for when you want to have the org themes inside here, but not make it available just yet. To add a theme here, we simply click the plus button here choose a JSON file, which is, we're just going to take one of my sample theme files here, the dark mode that I showed you just to show you how that would look like. You can customize things like the theme name. So how this shows up in the theme gallery and a description. There's also a toggle here that sets this theme as a default theme for Copilot visual. So when Copilot generates visuals uh, from the standalone Copilot feature in the service, this just ensures that it uses the theme that you have set here to make it kind of consistent with your organization branding. We're going to keep this turned off for now and we're just going to click add. That will add the dark mode theme here in our list. Now you'll see that it's disabled by default in the theme gallery. So you want to make sure we click that and enable for theme gallery. So now it's enabled. So you won't see it yet. I believe we need to restart Power BI desktop. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to reopen it. After restarting, let's go and see if we can see that new theme now. So under view ribbon, there we go. So you can see the dark mode theme is available for us to use. Perfect. 
Now, there's so many things I like about this implementation. The first thing that I like is the centralization of the theme itself. I'm already imagining scenarios where in the future certain elements of these themes need to change, like the borders or the rounding of them, for example, changes. As long as the reports are using these themes, the organizational themes, when they created and published these into the service, all you need to do is edit this theme from the tenant settings. And these changes should effectively cascade across all the reports using this theme. This just makes it a whole lot easier to ensure that your report designs across your organizations are consistent. Just to note that organization themes only updates what is the default setting for your visuals. So if you have reports that are using kind of heavily customized visuals, you need to make sure that they're using or they're set to default so that they inherit whatever the settings are from the organization themes. The other thing that I like about it is the flexibility of being able to have multiple themes. Maybe you have a set of reports that need different styles other than the default theme that you already have. Having the ability to set up a different theme allows you to be flexible by having multiple themes available, yet keep the standardization best practices. Just bear in mind, though, that this feature only came out in preview as of July 2025. So by all means, use it for testing and get yourself set up with your own JSON and organization themes. But don't use it for production reports as it may produce some unexpected results. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to set up organization themes in your Power BI tenants. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so to do the better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at any of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.